So in this segment we're going to be talking about British farmers face paying for border checkpoints in the EU after Brexit halts exports. Now this doesn't make any sense because you're talking about farmers building you know, physical border control posts, you know, BCPs. Um, and I've read through this article, I spoke to someone who has a lot more expertise than I ever will and he found it really weird as well. Um, so he did some digging and I'll show you what he found. So British farmers are trying to set up red tape and border checks in France costing millions of pounds and may even pay it for themselves. Uh, breeders in Britain are unable to export their pedigree cattle, sheep and pigs to the EU because no one has built a border control post where vets can check the animals before they enter the single market. And again, where would you set up such points? Because I've looked at the map right and we'll go through that in a few minutes. But the argument that, you know, there are border control posts outside the single market doesn't make sense. They would be inside it. It's like an airport. You, you know, you're stuck at the airport effectively. You are in the country, but you're in the airport. It doesn't make any sense. No private companies in, in France has been prepared so far to invest the millions of euros needed to build a facility. It makes sense. It has to be state of the art. Bringing British exports to the EU uh, mainland to, halt, um, to a halt since Brexit. The thing is, right, the, the EU are ready for this. They've got all the vets and stuff they need. Um, so th the reason the agri-foods have gone down is because the cost is prohibitive. It's not down to the lack of vets or customs agents. That's a UK side problem. Now the National Farmers Union is planning to ask farmers if they will help fund the facility themselves. Uh, meanwhile, some breeders say they will only have a few months left before shutting down their export operations while others are relocating to the EU. I mean, it's really weird, isn't it? That they can export the, these animals, but they're effectively choosing not to. Um, because if they want to run one of these border control posts, you need the infrastructure, but you also need the staff. Vets are not cheap. You know, something I stress often, especially having a cat, I know. And, you know, cats and, like, and domestic animals are on the cheaper end when it comes to vet stuff. John Boyle, Chief Livestock Advisor to the NFU, saying these are high value, highly sought after, high health animals. They travel in better conditions than you or I would on a ferry and in the tunnel. When you consider what Brexit has cost countries on both sides of the border, with a modest investment we could restart trade to the benefit of both British and European livestock. The only thing I can think of is the transport costs could be prohibitive because of the way the animals are transported um, and the time they are kind of stored in these, wherever, however they you know, transport them. He goes, the problems with being a third country have become clear for travellers at Dover with six hour, six hour delays last month caused by checks on British passports and a lack of border control posts. But ports in the UK and the EU have at least taken some steps to prepare for Brexit bureaucracy affecting tourists, not so much for livestock. In 2019, Royal began writing to ports from the hook of Holland and the Zeebrugge in Calais and DP, asking them to set up a facility, but none of them were interested. Why didn't you ask... Um, Oh, so you asked the Calais port and they said no, but they already have such a port. I mean, unless they're asking for a specialist one, something they can get, you know, quick access to effectively. That's what it seems like. They want special access to these ports. It was eventually found a small French um, family firm called Quailiva, Qu it's a French word, that was prepared to apply to a build a facility in Calais just outside the port. Um, but again, it, even if it's just outside the port, it's still going to be in France. That's the problem here. It's the, it's the wording and the phrasing that they use in this article. It just doesn't make sense. Quailivia, which uh, which Royal described, uh, Royal sorry not Royal, Royal described as really good livestock people, has received permission from the French authorities and expecting to have approval from the Commission soon. But the firm has asked for assurances it will recoup the cost of building a border control post amid fears about the future of UK live exports. Now I'm surprised maybe these farmers could set up um, some sort of subsidiary within the EU that will run this thing, you know, so they can put the money in themselves. Effectively, what we're doing is helping Quailava find the funds to build that infrastructure, Royal said, and that might need investment from the UK businesses, which is ridiculous, isn't it? Because of Brexit, we're having to fund our own facilities in France to get our own animals to customers. He added that although officials from the department for uh, DEFRA have tried to be helpful, there's been no help from the government, none at all. And if I were them, I would start setting up shop more in France because it makes the most sense, or, you know, an EU country. British breeders used to send about 500 consignments a year, ranging from a single Aberdeen Angus breeding bull or a pair of ewes to 30 breeding pigs. Royal is helping the pig breeder who is set up in England because of its high animal health standards. This is a large pig breeding business where they breed a nucleus of animals at the top of the breeding pyramid and they may need to relocate to Europe, effectively closing down their UK business. So effectively these are you know high-end animals that these... Um, these people are breeding and i just the eu does accept this stuff they can do it. i mean this this thing's tanky as hell um but yeah if we if we go and look at france right you can see there's you know you've got calais port you've got this one you've got this one you've got saint mal 
Um, you've got a load of ports here. So the argument that you know, the French don't have the facilities for this is, is ludicrous. Uh, evidently, France do. I don't know how many live animals the UK exports to the EU still, but I think what they're asking for is some sort of special access, you know, their own port effectively to export this stuff into. So then they don't have to go through and wait, you know, in the endless queues effectively. That's the only conclusion I can come to based on the person I spoke to. I could be wrong. I'll take an L on this. But we're in a situation where, if that, even if that is the case, right, you were in a situation where the British government, right, or sorry, British farmers are in a position where they're going to have to pay a company in France, effectively, to set up their own border facilities purely because of Brexit. You're talking millions of pounds, you know, they opened one of these up in Portsmouth, I think, a BCP, you know, border control post in Portsmouth, right? It's not going to be used. It's going to cost the council a million pounds a year to run it, just to keep it as is, you know, without, without anyone even being there, a million pounds. I think it was Portsmouth Council, I can't remember which one it was, but it's one down south. One million pounds, you know, to run this thing, for these breeders to run this border control post, it's going to cost, you know, effectively around that price, you need state-of-the-art stuff. Uh, it's madness, absolute madness that this is happening, and I wouldn't be surprised if this opens the door for more of these companies to move to France or Ireland or more kind of French breeders or Irish breeders to really tap into this market because effectively there is demand for it. Um, not a high demand, they're moving 500 consignments, so if you say 500 animals or whatever, or even if you say you know each consignment has you know maybe 10 or 15 animals, right? If you're talking a few thousand a year, it's not a huge demand for it, but people are paying top dollar. So you know if you're an Irish breeder or a French breeder or Dutch or whichever country you're from, it's a big opportunity for you. Big opportunity for you. You can make some easy money here because the UK, or sorry, should I say, um, Great Britain is out is out of this business. It's done. It's gone. Um, you know, Scotland might join it later on, um, but you know that that could be you know a decade down the line here. It's easy business for you guys to kind of sweep up here, because the argument that you know France don't have the BCPs is ridiculous. You know, they've got ports. They have border control posts. I could be wrong. I'll take an L on it. But the idea that you know that um, the EU has no has no. Has, because no one has built any border control posts where vets can check the animals before they enter the single market. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's true. Maybe maybe that's the problem. Maybe vets can't check it before they get into the single market. They have to check it as it kind of goes in, as it's at the port. I don't know, because if they do set up a facility outside of Calais, um, most likely it will still have to go through Calais port and the vets will check it over there. I don't know, or unless they want to have vets there on the scene and they'll authorise it at this BCP. I, d I don't know genuinely what, you know, because this article is not the best written. Um, apologies, James Tapper. I don't think this is your best work. I'm not going to lie here. It's very confusing in places. Um, but we do know the French have border control boats. You know, I don't know what Calais' answer was. You know, this person said he's written to uh, Holland, uh, Zabruge, to Calais, to DP, um, or Dieppe. Um, and ask them to set up a facility, but none of them were interested. Maybe the facilities already exist, they just don't want to have to go through the normal queues. I don't know. And yes, there is speculation on my part, I 100% accept that, not my best video. Point being is that this is a situation where, wherever the answer is, we're in a situation where farmers have to set up their own border control posts in France to get their animals checked. That's wild. I've, when has this ever happened? When are we ever in a situation where a country has to set up a border control post in another country so their animals can pass through? I mean, it's madness. I'm surprised the French are allowing this to an extent. Um, but the, if the Commission allows it, um, if the French government allowed it, I don't know what objections the Commission would have, especially because these are, you know, higher tier animals, you know, the top of the, the cream of the crop, effectively. Um, I don't know if the Commission would have any objections to it. Um, but yeah, anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, support the channel on Patreon if you can. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.